Okay, so throughout all these exercises, you know I'm always keeping the time. There's always the click going on, so when you try to do this on your own, make sure that you do it to a metronome. It's a totally different experience if you do it with a metronome versus without a metronome. We're just talking about rhythm. We're not talking about accents. We're not talking about sticking. So the sticking is consistent and the accents are consistent. Notice as I move through the table of time, the notes are sounding faster. It's getting faster and it's sounding more intense. So as we build through the rhythms, it's going to give you a more intense sound while keeping the time constant. Okay, so here's the accenting exercise. And once again, I'm going to keep the rhythm consistent. So it's just going to be 16 notes. I'm going to be keeping the time with the metronome and moving the accents around the drums. You notice as I'm accenting around that I'm keeping the snare drum nice and consistent. That's the drum dead center to me. Staying very quiet, very consistent, and then the accents are on the tom toms or the cymbals or the bass drum with a loud and intense shot while everything on the snare drum stays nice and quiet. So we're getting that loud and soft sound of this. As I change the groups of notes that I'm accenting, it's going to give me a faster sound in terms of the accent. Category, so we're going to try to keep the rhythm the same, keep the accents the same, and then just move the sticking thread. As I'm going through these stickings, notice the difference between an open roll sound and a closed roll sound. An open roll is a much looser sound, where a closed roll is a much tighter buzzing sound. Another great way to use sticking is to use top and bottom exercises. That is replacing a hand with a foot. It cuts your workload in half by not having to do everything with your hands. The great thing about sticking is sticking gives you the illusion of going fast because the sticks are doing all the work for you. You're not really pushing your muscles. So if you notice, it looks like I'm moving very quickly but not working very hard doing it. about 
drum solo situation, I can start combining all three of these concepts together, really nice and sticky. Notice how it seems like the gears are changing, I'm getting faster, I'm getting slower. It doesn't seem like I'm working too hard because I'm using sticky. off the beat. It always comes back to the click, but that's because of where I'm placing the accent. It gets faster and slower because of what I'm doing with the rhythm. It's easy to get around without looking like I'm working too hard because it's sticking. 